Hi and welcome to the channel. Now today's video I want to talk about this little transmitter here. It's a little FM stereo transmitter rated at half a watt, 500 milliwatts output. So I'm going to uh, kind of compare the sound quality with this little one that I did a review on uh, a little while ago, a little few milliwatt amplifier, but this one's handy because it plugs directly into your PC so you can transmit your PC around the house. So a review of that I'll stick at the top so you can go and have a look at that if you want to. But this particular unit just comes as is like that and sometimes you get the aerial that comes with it as well depending where you shop and where it is. You get this off AliExpress, eBay, places like that. So let's just have a look at the back. But first of all, let's look at, no, at the back. Yeah, yeah, let's go around the back. Okay, so there's the back. You've got the audio in, got the USB to power it there and you've got your antenna plugs in there. Now, if I flick it around the front, I'm going to show you it just quickly working, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. It doesn't actually light up, hopefully you can catch that in the light, 107 megahertz we're transmitting on at the moment. Just going to change that frequency by using these up and down ones here. So we go 70, 107.4, 0.5, I think you get the picture with that, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to unplug that and talk a little bit more about the unit itself. Now, uh, first of all, before I tell you how far it actually went, just going to talk about the sound of this particular unit when we compare it with this. Uh, and before we even start that, what I will say is that uh, if you plug your CD player, if you're going to use a CD player with this straight into the back of here, it will sound very distorted. Well, my one did anyway. I think most CD players will because they're given too much output that this can handle. So you're over modulating. So what you need to do there is use an antenna uh, an antenna lead something like that to bring the output of your cd player down or plug your cd player into a little mixer uh, then your mixer can uh, you can change the output on your mixer to lower uh, then it won't distort when playing through this uh, some people like have a couple of decks maybe or something like that if you're going to go mad uh, many years ago i used to transmit uh, on fm as well as am but uh, on fm using a little one watt i think it was a little bit bigger than this uh, size wise i think it was a one watt unit and I got about two mile out of that. I used to have a couple of record decks, a microphone attached to that. But that was in the late 70s, somewhere around there, maybe into the very early 80s. I can't remember. I used to put out a show, mainly at the weekend, uh, a little bit of fun. And that used to go about two mile quite comfortably and uh, maybe just a little bit on that. OK, now just talking about the sound before we talk about the distance, the sound quality on here is, is better than it is on this unit here. This unit's quite compressed, even though it sounds OK, the sound is quite compressed on this unit. It's a bit more open on this unit, so that's one good thing, obviously in stereo as well. OK, I plug this in uh, in my house and I the this antenna that comes with it. It's a telescopic and it fully uh, unwound, about a metre long it is, uh, near my window. Uh, in my house upstairs near my window and I travelled in the car in that direction where my window was facing and uh, I'm in a built up area of course and I got about a mile uh, with a clear reception then after that the music started fading and making a, you know, a bit of noise coming into it and all that kind of stuff uh, once I went beyond the mile and about 1.5 mile I lost the signal completely so that's the kind of distance I think you're going to get with this area we are uh, and inside near your window on the second floor or your first floor whatever you want to call it upstairs in your bedroom or something like that um, now i used a fm dipole aerial with the one i've done many many years ago and i think that probably would be better if you managed to get a little connection here at the back to an fm to, to a dipole aerial that probably would give you a little bit more range so but there you go hopefully that's uh, kind of gives you an idea a very quick video of how this is so i would recommend it it's pretty good okay if you've got a shed maybe three quarters of a mile down the end of the garden that you want to transmit something do uh and the sound probably sound quality is pretty good it's not bad at all okay thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon